Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to decrement a number with JavaScript. Decrement just means take it down. So uh, in a decrement, if you were to decrement 10 you, uh, by 1, you would get it to 9. So you can easily decrement or decrease a variable by using the negative negative operator, or the minus minus. So it's just i minus minus. The equivalent is uh, to i is equal to i minus 1. So say i is equal to 2. Um, if you do this right here, you would say you'd make it i is equal to uh, 2 minus 1, which would become 1. And so that's how the decrement works. I hope that makes sense. The entire line becomes i, decrement, decrement, and then uh, uh, semicolon. So we want to change the code to use decrement operator for my val. So here we have my var, and then this is my var. And so what we want to do is, uh, and so the way that we decrement here is we just, uh, we want to make it so it's just the minus minus. So you can go like this. And if we run the test, we'll see that pass. So that's basically it. If we were to console.log, so what we want to do is console.log right now, my there. Um, and remember, uh, uh, these are um, variable names are case sensitive. So what's happened is we've set my var up here to be 11, and then we've decremented it once. And so now it's 10, which you see, which comes out down here, down in the console. Let's say we decrement it again. Now, down here, we should get 9 if we move this guy down. So I'm pressing Control and Command. Oh, that doesn't work on this one. So I'm console logging it down here, and so now we should get 9 down here. So does that make sense? Another way to think of it is if we were to do my var is equal to my var minus 2, this would come out to what? It was 9 up here, and if we wait down here, then if we move it down to here, it's going to be 9 minus 2, right? And so that's what the decrementing does. Now, so that's 7. So it starts at 11, now it's at 10, now it's at 9, and now it's at 7. And so you could also do this uh, maybe, let's do it four more times, right? So we've got it decrementing it twice, and then we're logging it out at the bottom. What is that going to be? It's going to be 3, right? 11 minus 1 minus 2. 11, minus 1, minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. That's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 minus 11 is 3. And so that's how uh, decrementing works. Let's see. I'm just going to remove back to here so we can run the test and pass. Hope this helped. See you in the next lesson.